This is John T for the Boxing Voice. I'm delighted to be joined by Joe Gallagher here at Wembley after Natasha Jonas's fight. How are you, Joe? Yeah, good. Really pleased with Natasha's performance and, um, yeah, happy. Yeah, give us a bit of a breakdown on it. What were you happy about tonight? The fact that she was back fighting, back fighting. She's in an environment where there's a lot of people um, looking after her. She's feeling she fought in the home corner for the first time in two years. Um, yeah, I'm just happy that she's got out, she's got a fight and um, we can move her up the rankings now and look forward to getting her a world title shot in 2022. It's just good to see her smile back on the face, more importantly. Yeah, definitely. I mean, she looked good there. She won pretty much every round. I think it was just the odd round she looked. Uh, I, I, don't, I, don't, I, I don't know how they could give that girl one round. I, I, I just don't know. Worries me a little bit going ahead of the, the Burton fight, but let's, let's pray that's not the case. Yeah, fair play. I'll come on to the Burton fight in a minute. Obviously, her last two fights out, um, you mentioned that was a good sort like fight to come back at fought at uh, well level last two times for titles and just came came up short some would argue that she possibly won that against Katie Taylor I'm sure you'd think that is that naturally the fight that you want next yeah I would love to listen it's a shame Katie's there in Liverpool in a couple of weeks and Natasha is in the opposite corner um, but like I say we've just got to move Tasha forward now her management company get her ranked make her become mandatory for a few of these champions and and, and push push the, um, the governing bodies to make these fights and um, like I say Natasha she's been a credit to the sport and it'd be a shame to not see her end the sport as a world champion so anyone from 130, 147 Natasha Jonas is looking at. You mentioned that you might have to wait for it to go mandatory, do you think that will have to happen or is it too difficult to get the rematch just made for Nathan Taylor? Yeah. Well, I think Katie as well, all of a sudden, um, obviously Natasha with Boxer on Sky now on the platform, Katie's on the zone, she's fighting for up in Liverpool, I know that there's talk about her and Serrano next after that, or should we St. Patrick's weekend, but I think everyone said if you looked after the first fight, that fight Natasha and Katie stole the show, but it wasn't Chisora Parker yet. I've not heard anyone ask for that rematch, but that's been done. But I think Natasha and Katie Taylor, it's a good fight. People did say afterwards, when you look at social media, what a good fight. I paid to watch that again. And you've got two of the best that have that. It's not a wilder fury rivalry, but it's a healthy competitive rivalry. That seems to bring the best out of both of them. And yeah, of course, it'd be great to see that again. So we look forward to that if, if and when it does happen. Moving forward to tonight, you mentioned Jose, obviously. What are you expecting from Dan Aziz? I know a lot of people are talking about this being a right 50-50 fight. It's obviously for the British title. Um, are you, do you know much about Dan? Yeah, no, I know him well. I've studied him well. He's a, he's a good fighter, a bit of a throwback. Loves Marvin Hagler. Um, yeah, he's a good fighter. He's all around good. Listen, they've managed him well. They've pushed him at the right time. He's had good wins. Ricky Summers, Sterling, English title, Southern, defended it. And... Um, they're most probably coming into this fight with a tail up. They're most probably looking at Jose Burton as someone that's just gone over the hill. Jose Burton hasn't gone over the hill. He was British champion five years ago. He's not been in many wars. He was in a, a tough fight with Boletniks out in um, Latvia and he performed very well. Just got caught late on, but finished their fight well. It was closer than what the scores had suggested. So um, I think if they think they're going to get somebody who they feel is on the decline, then they've got to be usually mistaken tonight. Yeah, you've mentioned he's only been beaten a couple of times at top level opposition anyway. Should he come through tonight? And again, I'm sure you'll be expecting him to do that. Um, where would you naturally go next? There's such, such a competitive um, light heavyweight division. Would you like some of the other names out there? The Arthurs, the Yards? Yeah, listen, that, of course I would. That, that, that's what Jose will be if he wins tonight. He's a, a two-time British champion. Obviously, there's fights out there. Craig Richards is a very good fighter. Anthony Yard, Lyndon Arthur. The division is stacked with good quality fighters. Shaq and Pitters. So it's... Um, yeah, but I think Ophi come through tonight, please God. Um, like I say, we'll see what happens after that, but we've got to deal with tonight first. We'll look forward to that fight. And just before I let you go, uh, rumours circulating the last couple of days, one of your other charges, Callum Johnson, might be out uh, against Joe Smith Jr. Can you clarify if that's true? Well, I, I seen Bob Arum um, talking about it, saying he'd spoke to Frank. Um, I spoke to Frank um, yesterday, and he said, listen, we'll have a chat on Monday and, and discuss things. So... Um, they know I'm busy this weekend. My priorities Natasha and Brazil's Jose are Burton, and uh, we'll talk about Callum Johnson on Monday. And if it and if it is the fight happening, then it'll be great news for Callum Johnson. But uh, as of the moment, um, I have to speak to Frank about it. Yeah. Maybe a nice little trip over to New York for the fans is what I hear. That'd be good. Yeah, li listen. The, the, the venue that suggested is um, Callum's fought there before against Shawnee Monaghan. Joe Smith fought Bivol there, so it's a yeah, it's a venue that's familiar to us. Good stuff. Thanks for your time, Joe. No Catch problem. You if you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, and share. As always, if you want to support us to the next level, head over to the Patreon.
Boxingvoice.com backslash The Boxing Voice. We have tons of exclusive from Border Wars, from Title, betting shows, the list goes on and on and on. But in addition to that, if you guys have questions for fighters, trainers, and promoters, this is where you can submit them. We will run out, get these questions answered, and put it back on the show just for you guys. Appreciate it. Peace.